హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు క్రియేటివ్ క్యాట్ I'm using this silicone sealant. You can use any brand but make sure it says 100% silicone. To take out the silicone, you will need this kind of caulking gun. You can also buy silicone in small pack which doesn't need this caulking gun. I'm using cornstarch. There is no exact measurement. Just sprinkle some cornstarch in the bowl. Take out the silicone. It's better to make the molds in small batches uh, because silicone starts setting quickly. So I'll make only one or two molds at a time or in one batch. Now start mixing them together. Silicone is so sticky so just keep covering it with cornstarch and keep kneading. I found if you mix like this uh, you can avoid the sticky mess. Keep mixing the cornstarch till you get a dough-like consistency. Add more cornstarch if you feel the dough is sticky and keep kneading till you get a non-sticky dough. You can keep it white or you can add some acrylic paint. Once you think your silicone is ready, uh, just apply some petroleum jelly. Now roll it on plastic or a parchment paper or baking paper. Here I have some wooden applique I got from Home Improvement Store. Let's make mold of these designs. Press it on the silicone upside down. Keep the thickness of silicone accordingly. I'm doing the same with this small piece. Now I don't want to waste my silicone so I will uh, cut out the excess and use it for another mold. You will need to do it quick till your silicone is soft otherwise it will go waste. I will use it for another mold. I still have some space left here. So here are uh, some earrings which I can use for mold. I let it dry for half an hour and now I will take out these things and let's see how it turn out. The mold feels firm and strong and these things are coming out so easily. This is so nice and flexible and looks really good. Okay, let's see the other procedure. So here I have some water in the bowl. I'll mix some dish soap in it. It can be of any brand. Uh, this is without using cornstarch. Now I'll put some silicone sealant in water. Now 
Now you need to knead all the silicone while it is in the water. The water and soap mixture keeps it uh, from sticking to your hands. Please don't use the gloves. I have done it and ended up with all the sticky mess. You need to keep kneading till the transparent silicone turns little cloudy and gets little hard. You can also add paint if you wish at this stage. It will get dough like consistency in like 5 minutes. I'll flatten it on uh, the baking paper. Here I have some plaster of Paris flowers and leaves. I'll place them upside down just like we did earlier. Let it sit for half an hour. Now I'll take out these uh, leaves and flowers. The leaf got broke because it was made of plaster of Paris and it was really thin. But the mold turned out really great. It is more soft and flexible than the earlier one. But as per my requirement, I need it more firm because I'm going to use it for clay mostly. If you're going to use it for resin or something, you can use the softer one. As I said, I mostly use it with clay, so I will go with the first one, the cornstarch one. I can show you some ideas. This one I made with the seashells. Uh, these are some uh, clay seashells as well as the real seashells. Here I use different types of buttons. This was my own creation with the clay. So by making molds of your own creation, you can make more copies of it. Again, one more wooden applique. Here are some coins. I use these strings mostly uh, for making borders. This is a plastic toy. These are some miscellaneous things like a butterfly, gears, bows. Again, one more Vihans toy. 
So these are the molds I made with one silicon sealant pack and I still have some left in it. This is my homemade cold porcelain clay. I'll show quickly how the outcome looks. So you can see how affordable it is. I got sealant for five and a half dollars and the caulking gun for one and a half dollar. These many molds out of it and I can make even more. See how they take all the intricate details so nicely. I just love how these turn out. So here we saw two different procedures of making molds with silicon sealant. Really easy and affordable way to make molds at home. Let me know which one you like and which one you are going to use to make your own molds. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.